Keep in mind, this does not mean I didn't enjoy playing the game. The Global Test Punch was a great experience, but looking back at the footage of my own and other people's gameplay, it just seemed to me that there was nothing exciting or intriguing or super interesting about watching playback of two fucking morons swinging at each other aimlessly. And let's not forget how dull it is to see a constant grab fest. Grab, grab, grab. GRAB THESE NUTS NIGGA it was everyone's first time playing the game during the test punch You can't really expect to have too much fun watching gameplay back Especially when nobody knows what they're doing Even if there was someone who was moderately decent If they were going against someone else who was bad It made it boring even more because it was just a white fest And there was nothing you could really see from the footage and learn from it I'm still planning on being the best Min Min in the world So for me, watching gameplay of this was a very necessary step of learning the game and it was boring as hell. We had the E3 Nintendo Arms Invitational, which went down and it featured four pros and four random people who qualified at the event. Being honest, I'm just gonna skip over most of the stuff that went down in there. Uh, we saw a couple lame matches. A lot of those pros got blown out the water, by the way. I mean, exposure on the maximum. I I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't expect it to go down like that. One dude, I don't even remember his fucking name. Some hefty dude got cleaned up within the first match, man. He got absolutely washed by my dude Skyward Wing, by the way, shout out to Skyward Wing. You did good in there, man. You looked all right. But considering that even some of these guys who had the game somewhat early were playing in this tournament thing, it still didn't really excite me too much. And this could be reflected in so many ways. I mean, the viewership of the thing went down from the earlier Pokémon tournament, which was showing off. And to be honest, me personally, I can't stand Pokémon tournaments. So for the viewership to go down for ARMS, which is the game I'm looking forward to, kind of sent me a message. But... I'm leading up to something, so don't judge me right away. This guy who won the tournament got an opportunity to go against the game's producer, Mr. Yabuki. Regardless of what his title is, this man had worked on the game and he had offered a challenge. Anytime a dev takes on the game, a lot of the times we see them get washed up. And even if it ain't a dev, even if it's just a high ranking official, you guys remember that Hungry Box and Reggie Fisame match that happened? I was expecting something similar to that. Reggie could learn a thing or two from Mr. Yabuki. Like I said, I ain't expect much. After seeing Mr. Yabuki play, my passion for the game has been multiplied tenfold. All right, so this is the dude, Mr. Yabuki, right here, the producer of ARMS going against Zerk. He seems extremely timid, you know what I mean? Very respectful, kind of a frail looking dude. I mean, ARMS is a game which requires physical activity, right? So I was thinking that if you're a producer and you're not really that strong, you ain't gonna be able to put on a good performance. Mr. Yabuki is Min Min, and Zerk is, um, and Zerk is Master Mummy, Master Nigger, whatever the hell this dude's name is. So we're later in the match, Mr. Yabuki's actually down here, so most of us were thinking this is the time that he takes where he loses. Alright, so no problem, we're gonna go to game three, getting the grab, okay, real clean, going to special and pitting him before he even touches the ground! I didn't know you could do this, alright? Now, oh, I know I've been watching. Look at him, he posing and shit. Look at Mr. Yabuki. Mr. Yabuki, like, mmm, tell me. <laughs> that was so sick. You hear the crowd? You hear the crowd? Oh, man. Alright, so that, that caught niggas off guard, man. But I'm gonna tell you something. We are not here to talk about Mr. Yabuki's men, men. And we talk about Mr. Yabuki's So if you. Look at the movement options that Mr. Yabuki is taking into consideration here with that little bird. Every punch that Zerk throws out, Yabuki is ahead of him like by 20 steps, bro. Look at how he's moving and he's not just spamming dodge like niggas did in the test punch. Mr. Yabuki is actually... Dodge! Yo, did you see that shit? Look at this. Special on. Slowed you down and hit you with the fucking bird. Are you kidding me? Are Mr. Yabuki, are you kidding me? This thing is nasty. I gotta see that one more time, bro. One more time. Look at that shit. Special. Slow you down. Hit him with the. Oh my god. Yabuki. Mr. Yabuki. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Yabuki. Oh, shit. That was so real. Untouchable. At this point, he hasn't even been hit yet. Full HP. He was trying to perfect him. He doesn't. I think he gets hit once in this entire fucking match. Do you know how painful it is for me to admit that a Sintel is looking that good on the battlefield with the bobbing and weaving, throwing punches at the right time, perfect spacing, consideration of specials, utilizing the specials? I, I've never seen gameplay like this. Like Esam said on Twitter, 
that this kind of gameplay got him invigorated to actually play. He had no interest whatsoever beforehand, but this is something different. Beautiful take. Did he wait? Yeah, he got hit once. Look at that. The movement. As soon as his special came out, he didn't just block to take it all in. Dodge, slow down, dodge again, bam. Insane gameplay. Mr. Yabuki is some, he's, he's another level. Like, this man is literally a, a boss. He's the final boss. Man, they just revealed a new character too. I think his name is Max Brass. Fuck Max Brass. It's all about Mr. Yabuki right now. I now have a reinforced, reinvigorated faith in ARMS competitive esports viewership. Because all we need are really good players. That's it. And like I said earlier, no, no, the game's not fully flushed out yet. But once we have good players, dog, we're all going to be able to fight to the max level. We're going to be on Mr. Yabuki's level. We're going to be dodging motherfuckers. We're going to be trying to use specials. Trying to, it's going to be so sad. I'm so invigorated, nigga. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go, nigga. I'm going to be the best man, nigga. I'm going to be the best man, nigga. I'm ready to go, Mr. Yabuki. Mr. Yabuki, I'm going to be ready for you, man. Although it would be great if you could train me. But don't worry. I'm going to be in the gym with them Joy-Cons, man. Where them Joy-Cons at? Where them Joy-Cons at? Where them Joy-Cons Mr. Yabuki, I'm ready. I'm ready, Mr. Yabuki. I'm, I'm ready. I'm coming for you. I'm taking you out. Zerk couldn't do it. But the best men, man, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, Mr. Mr. Yabuki. Let's go. I'm waiting for it. So yes, arms competitive esports. Is it viable to watch? Yes, it is. I did a straw poll or something on Twitter, and most of you guys said yes. So maybe I was wrong all along. But one way or another, Mr. Yabuki has breathed a new set of life into this game that I did not realize was there ahead of time. And it launches tomorrow. I'll see you on stream so I can practice to give Mr. Yabuki the work one day. Mm. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you.